The MatchUp 2 Shelter Dog Behavior Evaluation is one part of the MatchUp 2 Rehoming Program, which helps shelters implement behavioral interventions and make successful matches. MatchUp stands for the Martyr Animal Rescue League, tasked for canine homing using personality. The MatchUp 2 Shelter Dog Behavior Evaluation is a standardized test which measures a dog's behavioral reactions to a series of scenarios or subtests in order to calculate personality scores. The test requires at least two people, a handler and a recorder. The handler performs the initial parts of the test and the recorder records the dog's behavior. A third person may also help out on later tests. The dog should be walked outside to allow urination and defecation before conducting the behavior evaluation part of MatchUp 2. Corrections or training should be avoided while walking. Noted behaviors will be highlighted throughout this video. These are the behaviors you may come across while conducting the subtests and you should be recording. The subtest category from the evaluation form will be highlighted in yellow text and the actual behaviors you need to observe and record will be highlighted in white text. Subtest 1. Leash Manners Observe the dog as he or she is walking on the leash. How hard does the dog pull on the leash? Does he pull lightly? Hard? Does he grab the leash with his mouth? Observe and record the dog's behaviors. Subtest 2. Room Behavior Before you begin this subtest, place two chairs in the room, one in the center of the room and the other against the wall to the right of the central chair. The recorder will be seated in a chair against the wall at a small table throughout the evaluation unless needed for assistance. This subtest has two parts, Explore 2 Minutes and Call to Come. While exploring two minutes, the handler enters the room, drops the dog's leash, and sits in the chair in the center of the room. A timer is started. Neither evaluator should talk or interact with the dog for two minutes. Behavior should be observed and recorded. After two minutes, the handler should call the dog to come in a friendly voice. Come, Max, come! Try twice. If the dog doesn't come, clap your hands on your lap and kiss the air. Come, Max, come! If the dog comes, pet the dog on the back with long strokes from neck to lower back. Subtest 3. Commands with Treats it is very important for this subtest that you use a treat that the dog thinks is delicious. Many dogs are stressed by life in the shelter and by the behavior evaluation. Using more delicious treats will result in the dog being more successful on the subtest and the dog being less stressed. The commands that are included in this subtest are sit, down, sit, stay, come, and shake. Ask the dog to do each command up to three times. High five. Oh, you're good. Very good. Subtest four, handling feet. Have the dog stand. If the dog doesn't stand, try pulling the dog forward with a leash. Try twice. If the dog will only sit, note and continue. If the dog rolls onto his back, try to get him to stand or sit. If you are unsuccessful, skip this subtest. The handler should stand on the dog's right side and hold the dog's collar with the right hand. While standing or crouching, the handler should use the left hand to pick up the dog's feet. 
Make sure you hold the dog's foot, not the ankle, and hold the foot for two seconds. Start with the dog's right hind foot, then front right foot, then left hind foot, and finally the left front foot. Note the behaviors that you see and record. Soft mouth. Subtest 5. Toys. Tennis ball. The handler drops the leash and holds the ball so the dog sees it and then throws the ball across the room. If the dog picks up the ball in its mouth, wait to see if he or she brings it back. If the dog does not bring the ball back, encourage the dog to bring it back by calling his or her name and saying, come. If the dog does not come, go to the dog, ask the dog to drop. Drop. If the dog doesn't, say, give. Give. If that still doesn't work, say, out. Out. If the dog still will not release the ball, throw a delicious treat on the floor a few feet away to see if the dog will trade. Plush Squeaky. Repeat the steps used for the ball using a plush squeaky toy. Squeak the toy before throwing it. Tug Rope. The handler wiggles the tug toy on the ground in front of the dog to engage. Encourage the dog to tug by saying, tug. Try three times for five seconds each time. If the dog will tug, play tug for 10 seconds. Repeat drop exercise as you did for the ball. Yeah. Subtest six, run and freeze. While the dog is dragging the leash, gently tap on the back and then run across the room 20 to 40 feet, giggling and waving your arms. Suddenly stop and fold your arms, ignoring the dog. Repeat. This test excites the dog. Observe the behavior. Does the dog run or stay with the handler? Or does the dog jump up? Is there nipping of the clothes or legs? Record the behavior observed. Subtest 7. Introduction to Rubber Hand Because fear of the rubber hand may influence the results of the test for possessive behavior, it is important to observe the dog's reaction to the hand alone before the beginning of test 8. Record whether the dog is afraid, bites the hand, or attempts to play with it. Hold the dog on the leash. With the upper part of the hand hidden underneath clothing or laying flat against your arm and the rubber hand in view, Approach the dog. With the hand close to the dog's head, allow the dog to investigate. Subtest 8. Possessive Behavior Subtest 8 has two parts. The first part determines if the dog guards wet food while eating. The second part determines if the dog guards a pig's ear while chewing on it. For safety reasons, all dogs over 40 pounds should be tethered to the wall or door using a 6-foot tether. Dogs under 40 pounds could be held on a leash by the recorder or third person, or may be tethered. If at any point a dog shows aggression to the rubber hand, you may choose to see if the aggression escalates or decreases, but stop the test if the dog bites the hand. Wet food. Fill bowl half full with wet food. Using the rubber hand, push the bowl just inside the limit of the tether or the leash, making sure there is no tension on the leash. After the dog begins eating, walk past the dog and bowl and return. Using the rubber hand, pet the dog on the head and continue along the body. Place the rubber hand a few inches from the bowl and move it around the bowl in a circle. Then place the hand on the outside edge of the bowl and move along the bowl. Then place the hand in the bowl next to the dog's face and move it around for two seconds, not touching or pushing the dog's face. Then. Pull the bowl away from the dog with the rubber hand, return the bowl to the dog, pull the bowl away again, and remove. Pig's Ear Place a non-slippery rug next to the dog so the dog has a comfortable place to lay down and chew. Place the pig's ear on the rug. Allow the dog to chew on the ear for 30 seconds before continuing. Pet the dog on the head and body. Place the hand a few inches from the ear. Okay. 
To remove the ear, toss a delicious treat two to three feet away from the dog. If the dog does not drop the ear, throw another ear away from the dog and try the trade again. Subtest 9. Toddler Doll This subtest explores how a shelter dog may react when introduced to children. A life-sized Barbie doll is used for this test. While the handler holds the dog's leash, the recorder or third person carries the doll into the room like a child upright with the doll's head level with the shoulder. When approximately 8 feet away from the dog, the doll is placed on the ground on her feet and the doll is walked forward toward the dog. When three feet from the dog, the doll is stopped and made to reach toward the dog by extending the arm. Allow the dog to approach if the dog desires. Observe the dog's reaction for 10 seconds and record observation. Does the dog show friendly behavior? <laughs> Subtest 10, Strange Looking Woman. This subtest explores how a shelter dog may react when introduced to strangers. While the handler holds the dog's leash, the recorder or third person goes outside the room and dresses in a trench coat, hat, sunglasses, and cane. The recorder or third person enters the room and walks in in a slightly bent over and unsteady gait toward the dog and says, Hi doggy, can I pet you? If no aggression occurs, the person continues to approach and speaks gently to the dog. When three feet away, the person reaches out with a closed hand to allow the dog to sniff if he or she desires to. Observe the dog's reaction for 10 seconds and record findings. Subtest 11, Dog to Dog Interaction. Part one will involve one other dog. Choose a dog that is dog-friendly and approximately the same size as the dog being evaluated. Avoid very exuberant or assertive dogs that could scare the dog you are evaluating. While the handler holds the evaluation dog's leash and the recorder or third person holds the visiting dog's leash, the two dogs are walked past each other three feet apart. If either dog bears teeth or snaps, do not continue. If not, Walk the dogs toward each other and allow the dogs to greet each other. Keeping a loose leash, allow the dogs to continue greeting for up to 30 seconds. Move with the dogs as circling occurs, standing opposite the other person. If you note fear or aggression toward the dog you were introducing and felt another dog might be better tolerated, repeat with another dog. Once you've completed all of these subtests, you will be able to calculate the dog's personality scores. If you are using the paper evaluation form, you will calculate these scores manually. If you are conducting the behavior evaluation online, the personality scores will automatically be calculated for you, and you are ready to move on to the next part of the Match Up 2 Shelter Dog Rehoming Program, Behavioral Triage.